Hi guys, this is Amr from Certified Power. Today I'll be showing you how to trim a spinner on a Freedom 2. We recommend using at least two men for this job. We recommend using the appropriate personal protective equipment. That includes, but is not limited to, eye protection, gloves, and steel-toed footwear. It is not required to load the truck with material. However, loading the truck to capacity before this process will result in a more accurate trim. Make sure your truck engine is operating at 1200 to 1400 RPM. We want to make sure we have enough hydraulic flow to run our functions. To turn on your Freedom 2, press the lane knob. To trim our spinner, we need to give the device technician access. Hold the mode slash menu button for about two seconds. This will take you to the main menu. Tap on user level. Select technician from the drop down menu. Refer to your supervisor for your technician level password. My device is at factory default, so the password has not been set up yet. After you have inputted the password, tap OK. Select Spinner Setup. Next, select Calibration. Tap on Valve Setup. First, we want to trim our maximum spinner output, so select Max Trim Cal. Now it's time to set your spinner maximum trim. This is the maximum speed at which you want your spinner to rotate. Hit start. We recommend increasing your feeder output to about 40% or adjusting it until your feeder is moving at a constant speed. Adjust your spinner maximum trim to the furthest distance you want the material to be spread at. Make sure to not overspin the spinner. It may begin to shake violently at a high RPM. To avoid this, visually verify the operation of the spinner after each change in percent output. You can do this by physically getting out of the truck cab to observe your spreader control after each increment, or by having an assistant observing from a safe distance. Hit save. Now to set our minimum trim, Tap on Min Trim Cal. For your spinner minimum trim, hit Start. We recommend increasing your feeder output to about 40% or adjusting it until your feeder is moving at a constant speed. Then, set your spinner minimum trim to account for the minimum material throw distance. Hit save. Your spinner has now been successfully trimmed. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call on the number provided on the screen or visit our website at www.certifiedpowersolutions.com.